Hello and welcome to Nova Pioneer. My name is Alan. I'm Tracy. My name is Sylvia. My name is Keisha. My name is Benaya. I'm Nigel. My name is Shalin. My name is Wangare and I'd like to show you how Nova Pioneer is shaping us to be innovators and leaders. Let's do this. A typical day in Nova Pioneer starts at 5.30 where, okay, like I wake up, I go, shower, groom, and then I go for breakfast. After breakfast, we have a short prep where you do personal studies and then at 7.30 classes begin. Classes end at around 4.30, um, but we have short breaks in between. We, in between, we have tea at nine, we have lunch, and then now classes end and you have tea right after. After classes end at 4.30, we go for tea. And then after that, you can do clubs and sports. So anyone who wants to play football can go and play rugby. We have so many of those. Then after that, we go for supper. Um, extracurricular activities for Form 3 end at 5.30 because you have to go to dinner. And then for Form 2s and 1s, it ends at 6. After that, we have prep from around 6, 6 to 9 for Form 3s. And then for Form 1s and 2s, it's just for like, yeah, it's just for two hours. After that, we have tea. We have tea at 9 o'clock. Then you go for you go to bed. So all not about pocket money. In Nova, we don't, in Nova, we don't allow pocket money in school because we don't have a canteen. And the reason we don't have a canteen is because I believe that the meals students acquire in Nova are quality. They're the best of the best. From first-hand experience, I can say that they really are nice. Because so anything you would actually need from a canteen, you can acquire right here at our school kitchen. So you wouldn't need anything else from a canteen or anywhere else. So on to special diets, because I know the because I know humans we can't eat everything. Some react to things, others react to the different things. So if you have a student that can't eat, let's say brown rice, you can get them a substitute here at school. So they can either eat the white rice, they can eat macaroni, or they can, eat, they can just find something else to substitute for the brown rice that the student can't eat because of course they can't miss it. Here is Nova Pioneer. We have our designated laundry room where you can do our laundry from. From, we have our designated time from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Wednesdays and over the weekends. Right beside our laundry room, we have the ironing room where we can straighten up our ruffled clothes. And right outside our residential area, we have our hanging lines where we can air our, dry, our clothes to dry. The thought of comfortability in a clean space is cultivated in us. That is why we clean our own rooms and corridors to ensure that we stay in a clean space. But we also have help from the general cleaning team, which helps us in general cleaning of the host. And we are going to our ironing room, where we have designated spaces to fit about eight people inside the room. And as you can see, even though this was built before the COVID-19 pandemic, you can see that there is still space which adheres to the room. And now, let's go to the laundry room where we wash our clothes and make sure we clean them accordingly. As you can see, there's many spaces so that a lot of students, so that it can fit a lot of students to be able to wash their clothes at the designated times and days. Okay, so out here, you can see that we have our hanging lines where we can air our clothes so that they can dry well. As you can see, there's a lot of space so each and every day from four to six, uh, the students engage in a club or a sport. So once you enter the school in Form 1, you're given the opportunity to choose a club or sport of your choice. We have a number of sports and clubs, including um, debates, journalism, spoken word, film club, creatives club. There's an opportunity for everyone and also for sports there's football, basketball, swimming, rugby. Personally, uh, I'm part of the film club. In this club, I've actually gotten to learn so many skills. Like I never thought that I could shoot a video, edit a video and just like improve also my acting skills. And um, in this, we also like provided a lot of support from the school. For example, you're allowed to come with your camera and with that you're also taught how to shoot the different videos in different um, 
frames, angles, and the best thing about it is that every time you also you're given an opportunity again to choose a different club or sport or just stay in the one you were in before. This way you're able to like learn new skills, have different opportunities, and just grow yourself in many different ways. Let me give you a summary of my weekend structure at Nova Pioneer. So basically it's different from the daily basis from Monday to Friday because it's a weekend. The wake up time is at 6 a.m. From 6 a.m. you go I go to take my breakfast. I'll get my breakfast, go back to the dorms. From that time I will refresh and up and tidy up my space till 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. I leave the dormitories to go to the classroom block for my studies. I will do my studies from 8 to 10. From there is when I'll go for my break. My break will be an hour long break from 10 to 11. From 11 I will go back for my studies to one o'clock. From one o'clock, um, you get to do your, you get to eat lunch and you're basically free from that time for the all of the day. You get your laptops at that time, you are basically free to do what you want to do at that time. From six is when our entertainment will begin. Our entertainment comprises of a lot of things, either movies, dancing, listening to music, or using a laptop. That will happen from 6 to around 10 p.m. where you're supposed to go and go back to the dorms for your sleep. On Sunday, the structure is basically the same. You will wake up at 6 a.m., take your breakfast, you'll go back to the dorm and refresh up till 8. Now, from 8 is when your spiritual time will come into place. Depending on your denomination, you will go to the specific assigned area that your service is taking place. It will take place from 8 to around 10. From 10 is when you'll go for your break and you'll be free from 10 a.m. You will either go and read, wash your clothes, use your laptop. You are free to manage your time from that time. Now, it, from 10 to 6, from 6, you will have your supper. After having supper, you will go back to the dorm by 7 to refresh up and get ready for prep. You are required to be in class by 7.30. 7.30 to 9 is when you will conduct your prep. And after that, you'll go for a cup of cocoa at 9. From 9, you will go to, after your cup of cocoa, you will go to the dorms and get ready for your bedtime. Lights out will be at 10 p.m. In Nova Pioneer, we have both students and teachers who worship on three specific days. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Fridays, we have the Muslims who worship after classes. And on Saturdays, we have the SDA who worship from 8.30 a.m. to 11. On Sunday, we have the Protestants who worship from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m and the Muslims who also worship from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. We have access to laptops every weekend. The class representative will check it, will check out the laptops from the strong room and bring them to the classroom where they're distributed among the students equally from approximately Friday evening to Sunday evening where they will check it back in the class representative who will take it back to the strong room. The laptops have been encoded by a special IT team which is school-based to prevent against inappropriate sites which may be accessed and has been fitted with anti-malware software which prevents laptops from getting hacked. In my opinion, the best part of having the laptops over the weekend is I get to communicate with my parents. I think it's very essential that I get to inform my parents of any new news that may be passed around in the school, as well as I can entertain myself over the weekend, which is very important as it's a therapeutic way to relax after a long week of learning. Not to forget academic use, which I can use a laptop for research, either by projects or just uh, fun academic research like learning about things that you learned in class but you would like further knowledge about. I think it's a very beneficial way which gives me more information about the things that are happening in the world. Uh, personally, I like graphic design. I've been very fond of it for a long time. So I use the laptop to search about uh, new careers that may be opening up for graphic designer, such as a UX designer, which is not to go in depth but a more a uh, computer-based graphic designer in terms of programming and I can research about new developments in the graphic design field such as new fonts, 
new textures that have been created. It's basically keeping me intact in with the information that's being passed around the graphic design community. We also have a computer lab, which is accessible to all school students. School students get to access it with their subject teacher during the lessons, and Form 4s also get to access it twice a week to work on the KCC computer project. At Nova Pioneer, we have different events such as the Grand Glam Gala, where people showcase uh, Nova culture principles such as data together and solutions first by wearing their elegant attires. We also have the Cultural Day, where people showcase different cultures by wearing their cultural attires, such as Nigerian attires, Ikuyu and Luya attires. We also have the Sports Day, where different activities take place, such as water balloon fights, obstacle days, and many more. Student leaders in any school are representatives of teachers when teachers are not around. So in this particular school, Nova Pioneer, how we elect the student leaders, it starts by them going off for a form. They fill the form, they fill the form for the seat they want to be vying for. So after that, there's a vetting process that involves the teachers vetting to see whether this student is viable to be one of the student leaders. So after the students have been vetted and are ready for, well, campaigning, I might say, they campaign for a process of one or two weeks, trying to win over the votes of the other students. So after campaigning is over, there's the voting process now. Now this school, this school is different from other schools, I might say, because the type of voting we do, we do our voting online. So of course there can be no theft, or there can be no form of bribery or corruption of any sort. So you can see why no pioneer is the school to choose. We do our voting online on laptops. So after we do our voting, the candidates who are the candidates who are going to be student leaders and are going to vote are going to be sworn in. And when they're sworn in afterwards, they are now they're, they, after they're sworn in afterwards, they can now start their duties as student leaders. In our pioneer, we're exposed to a couple of opportunities like the exchange program, in which the students from South Africa get to come here and learn about our cultures and um, way of land, way of living and likewise we go there and learn about their culture and afterwards we exchange what we've learned in our different campuses. We're also exposed to a couple of other opportunities like internship and mentorship. In internship we are placed in a situation in which we can be able to experience or maybe um, learn more about what we want to do in future and mentorship in which we are assigned someone who knows a little bit of something that we want to do in future. To find furthermore about us at Nova Pioneer, you can visit our websites, blogs and social media pages. Thank you.